Good morning, my lovelies. How are we all? Happy Saturday. I hope you've all had an amazing week. This week has absolutely flown by, as every single week is. Charlie, one minute. Sorry about that, just a little child crying downstairs. So we all know what time of the week it is. It's Saturday morning. It's time for a stunning walk. I'm gonna go get Charlie in the vehicle and one minute <laughs> and we're gonna go for <laughs> oh charlie you're breaking my heart but yeah we had you a catch up today honeys so when i come back we'll sit down we'll have a brew and i've got a lot to catch up on because obviously we've got the love life going on I know, I know, I know. Um, I've got a haul to film today. I've also got, I've got a little project that I want to try. Thinking about, oh, you would think I would tidy my room before I do this. Yes, yeah, so I've got a little project that I want to start and I want your opinion on it. I'm going to tell you all about that later on. Honestly, we've got so much to talk about today. I'm so excited. I want to have a ride to Superdrug. I need some bits and bobs. Oh, yeah, uh, so I'm going to go and get the dog in the car before he screams the house down. Um, I, I did some sock curls again last night. Do you remember me doing that on one of the vlogs? So... Did I even show you how I did it? I didn't show you how I did it. Oh my God, that, right, I need to do that. But can we just talk about one thing? We've got like one stunning curl right here. And then the rest is sort of like straight. So maybe I won't do a tutorial. It obviously doesn't work, does it, babes? But I think what I did, I didn't put, I didn't put enough socks. A anyway, we'll, we're, right, we've got a lot, we've got a lot to get through today. So let's just, let's go. Oh, also, <laughs> Sorry. Charlie, I'm sorry. I tinted my brows and my lashes last night, so I was oh, my eyebrows need plucking ASAP. So we're gonna do that as well today. Wow. Let's let's get walking. <laughs> My lovelies like can we just talk about this situation how do people like wear a towel around them without it falling down because we do not need that also fun fact my hair is actually dry this is just for <laughs> for, for the effect <laughs> yeah I've had to use a bobble and it was we're not 100% safe so if we get a nip slip I'm really really sorry this is gonna turn into an OnlyFans and I'm trying to be like an inspirational woman right now oh my lovelies the last time you saw me was this morning i've been for a nice walk didn't film much because we took charlie brown you see and when we've got charlie brown in talk there's no filming involved because we've got to have full concentration vibes because he needs a lot of care and attention and he cannot be left unsupervised anyway moving swiftly on i've not really done much else I, I've been to the gym, boring. When I listen back to myself, I'm like, oh, I'm like, yeah, I'm just doing some editing. I'm just going to the gym. Literally do nothing else. But anyway, it's gonna. I had loads of plans today, but nothing. It's just, but it's just been so nice. And oh, this towel slipping off is giving me a headache. Just hang on. That's better. Right, where was I? What was I saying? I wanted to go to Superdrug. I really need another one of these because like honestly how i'm still using this is beyond me literally there's nothing left but then that didn't happen because it's just so nice outside what else did i do when i'm um, collected a parcel which i'm going to show you oh very exciting then oh i've cleaned the inside of my car yay me strong independent woman i've not done the outside i may get a man to do that but yeah, so we're sitting down for a little update. Right, we're getting ready, we're getting ready. So, um, I first of all, just wanted to thank everyone who's um, subscribed to me, who has messaged me on Instagram, or commented on one of my videos, commented on, on the post that I put on Instagram. I know this sounds really dramatic and I'm not accepting a Grammy award or anything, but it just means so much that people have actually gone out of the way to message me or or whatever like it just it blows my tiny mind anyway thank you so much <laughs> you're all dying to know i know this i've had text messages i've had messages on instagram 
I've had people at work coming up to me asking me, right, how did the first date go? So in the last vlog, we went on a second date. Let me just give you a little update on my love life. Okay. So at the beginning of the year, made a, not a pact with myself, but I just decided, do you know what? I'm not actually looking for anything. I don't want anything. I am happy just being single, just doing me. I was happy just doing my own thing. Like I wasn't looking for anything. Tinder had been well and truly deleted. I wasn't, I, I, I just wasn't looking for anything. And it's so cringe and so cliche to say, you, look, you find something when you're not looking for it. But I genuinely, I was actively not looking for it. I was like, just not. Like really, really. Because my goal for the end of this year is to have my own house, be a strong, independent woman build my youtube channel up just generally make an amazing life for myself like but, but this was the mindset i was in i was like i'm fully committed to youtube i haven't got time for anything that's that was my thing so a baby boy knows this and i was like i i don't have time for a boyfriend like i'm committed to the gym like my priority is is youtube obviously i work full time me and baby boy we started talking on instagram and we was talking for a little while and I really wasn't sure whether anything was actually going to come of it because he seemed really really busy I was busy but like I actually like we made the time to speak to each other and it was and I just really enjoyed talking to him enjoyed like our little conversations and in the back of my head like I kind of knew that this guy was some, some, there was just something special, I don't know. I just knew there was just something about him that he was different. There was like no pressure from either side, we just took every day as it came. Yeah, so this was going on for quite a while. And then, when we finally did meet, like, oh my god. Like, I was more nervous than ever. Like, if you start talking to someone, usually within like the first two weeks or so, you meet or whatever but i've been talking to this guy for weeks if not months i think i've built it up so much in my head to the point where i didn't actually think it it would happen like you can tell i feel really awkward <laughs> so anyway i get this text message saying um do you want to go for a walk tomorrow morning and oh my god my stomach dropped i am absolutely shitting myself i will be completely honest we went on this walk and like it was weird because like obviously i've been talking to him for so long and like i knew like we knew so much about each other but never actually seen him in person oh my god how bizarre right so anyway like we literally got on like a house on oh huns we got on like an absolute house on fire so our first day wasn't technically a first it wasn't a first meeting like so the week before i think i actually said that on the on the vlog anyway but um the week before we met and we went for a walk because i think that's a really really good way like if you are speaking to someone and you're thinking of something to do and maybe like a date like a restaurant day is to maybe too formal or whatever you sort of like you're committed to the night aren't you whereas like with a walk you can just get a feel especially especially if you don't really know this person you can just get a feel for how they are you can go on just a short walk or whatever if you know any loop like loop walks near you you can just go on like a little short walk and just get to know each other a little bit as opposed to committing to like a full night new outfit like taxes and all this like added stress like i think a walk is an absolute perfect first like first meeting so we were both the thing is we we're both on the same page do you know what i really like about him the fact that I was never oh, but does he like me i think some guys and girls don't get me wrong make your second guess and it wasn't it's just like so so easy i just i know exactly where i stand 
we're exactly we are just on the same page our energy levels are exactly the same we just bounce off each other i've never ever met anyone like him and i honestly like this is i'm such a cringe bag tonight we're having a pizza night pizza and wine so when we went axe throwing i think it was on like my last vlog we went axe throwing and we went for some really nice food i've already told you this i'm just skimming over it just recap so we went for some food and then we went axe throwing and then when we came out of axe throwing there was like a bar outside with like live music and i love live music like anyone with a guitar like i am the i am absolutely i spat then did you see that we went and we sat outside in this bar and like we had a few drinks and it was like being on our rolls do you know like when like it's not cold at night like it's quite warm at night that's what i'm trying to say and you're having a few bevs and there's a bit of live music it's absolutely stunning i love that absolute holiday vibes just in manchester so anyway so we did that we had a few drinks and like it was just really really nice i really enjoyed that night but what is wrong with me i was this a strong Strong, independent woman do not need no man and all of a sudden I'm like but I just enjoy every single second with him um so um I was like is it all right if I tell the Huns like how we're getting on and he was like give the Huns what they want I've never said I want someone like this because I did not think that this existed he's just uh, he's like he's just perfect for me okay so yeah, oh right, so that's what I was telling you. So, um, we're not like massive drinkers. Well, I, I used to be, but I'm not anymore. Lockdown and stuff, changed woman. Anyway, that's another story. So, we're having a pizza night tonight. My favorite ever pizza restaurant. Now, pizza, I can, I can take it or leave it. I'm not a massive pizza lover, but Devardis, and if you don't know Devardis, get to know Devardis. It's literally like the best pizza restaurant in the northwest i'll just say that i'm not saying the world because i've not tried them all me and my family have been having divided pizzas for as long as i can remember so anyway so i'm gonna treat him to the divided experience also i've had a couple of recommendations for different wines so i'm gonna take a couple of bottles of wine but we're not gonna drink them all because this girl will have a sore head tomorrow and that's not cool, bro. I thought we could just try a couple of wines with our pizza and we're gonna sit outside while it's nice and oh my God, I'm so excited, I can't wait. Oh, we're not sitting in the restaurant, by the way. We're gonna bring it back, sit outside and eat it. But anyway, so that's my love life update. My second update is I really, really want to start a series and this series i don't know whether to incorporate it into my vlogs or do it more of like a sit down video but i do genuinely believe that i have found the key to happiness the many keys to happiness because there is not one key to happiness there's many many different elements and aspects to happiness and I do genuinely believe like I am on my way there. Well, I am like, I feel like I am, but I feel like every single day I get happier and happier. And I feel like that that's what I want my channel to be about. And I want to help you guys if ever you're feeling down, if you're having a down day, a down week, or if you're going through a massive phase of being down. And um, if you've watched any of my other vlogs, you'll know that I've, I've been through it and it's really really it's awful but i pulled myself out of it and i am honestly the happiest i've ever been that i can't even explain i wish i could just bottle it up and give it to you because it's just that's just how i feel so i want to help you guys feel that like I want to, I want to, I want to guide you into happiness. So I don't know, like I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet. I was wondering whether I should do it as like a sit down with the brew, bit of a chat. But then I don't want it to be boring. I don't want you to like sort of sit there and be like oh, and then switch it off. I want to get my key points across. So do do I incorporate it into my vlogs or what? But it's something that I'm constantly thinking about every single day. So I'll come up with something. But like. I, I need your help with like a name I'm thinking the happiness diaries the key to happiness pretty simple then were my two main ones but I, I thought of another one so I wish I'd written it down but I like the happiness diaries like the ha happiness diaries episode one 
you know what I mean? Like there's, there's just so, it's like I've got so many ideas running through my head and I'm constantly in my notes in my phone or like writing notes down like of, like things that I want to say, things that I want to touch on and obviously I don't want to just sit down and do one hour video about like oh you need to do this to be happy because everybody's different, everyone you know is, is going, everyone's in their own lane. So yeah let me know what you think. So yeah, so I'm new ready now. Just need to sort the the her out, but we're not going to be doing anything too crazy because we're just pretty much chilling tonight. Uh, but I have got a little ASOS parcel that I do want to show you. So we'll, let me just get into something a little less towel like. Really bad that I've not like filmed anything today but we might pick it pick the pace up tomorrow because obviously we're with baby boy tonight so there will be no cameras Uh, we had such a lovely evening. We had pizza and wine. We sat outside by the fire pit. It was very romantic. And we roasted some marshmallows, which I've never ever done before. And it was absolutely sensational. This morning we've been for a nice walk around Turton and Twistle Reservoir. This is like really big reservoir and it's it's so nice. So but yeah, it was lovely. Um, next time I go, I will definitely get some footage of it because it's an absolutely stunning place. But today's like supposed to be an absolute scorcher. It's supposed to be like 100 degrees or something today. It's been a bit, a bit dull this morning. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. But anyway, I was going to go to the gym today, but honey's I am getting boring, so I'm going to switch it up a bit and I'm going to take you out. I think we're going to go to the Trafford Centre for a little ride, a little mooch about, a little people watch. Does anyone else love doing that? I love just sitting people watching. There's a couple of bits and bobs that I need. I needed to go to Superdrug yesterday, which I didn't end up doing. I need some dry shampoo. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. We're on like day two and dry shampoo is an absolute necessity, but I haven't got any. The only thing I do have is talcum powder. It doesn't work. It's not the same. So I may have a ride to B&M. Possibilities are endless today. The world is our oyster. some inspo we are just on our way to the Trafford Centre now the Trafford Centre is somewhere that is always so busy on a weekend however England are playing today in the Euros now to be fair if it was a Saturday then I may go out and join in the festivities however it is a Sunday so I'm taking full advantage of the fact that everyone else is going to be in in the pub and I can go to the Trafford Centre without getting stuck in traffic, without being queuing up everywhere. Oh, baby, I, I apologise for 10,000 rocks on the lake, so, so don't, don't call me baby, unless you mean it. And don't tell me you need me. In an Irish band, but she fell in love with an English. Kissed her on the neck and then I took her by the hands Like baby I just wanna dance You know she beat me at Dawson And she beat me at pool And then she kissed me like there was nobody else in the room She played her fiddle in an Irish band But she fell in love with an Englishman Kissed her on the neck and then I took her by the hands Like baby I just wanna dance My pretty little ball we go I'm back! God, it's absolutely gorgeous Look at this view 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 AC on right now. <sighs> Didn't really get much from the Trafford Centre, but I will show you what I got. So basically, I had a little bit of a walk around. I didn't actually need much anyway. I'm gonna have to take my shoes off. I'm really sorry about this because my feet are rubbing because I've done. Oh, hello. I've done 13,376 steps. This morning, I'll have you know. Yeah, so basically, I had a little bit of a walk around, got what I needed, and then 
I thought I'll get, I was gonna get a Starbucks, but I was closer to Cafe Nero. So I got myself a little flat white, and I thought I'll find myself a little bench and just sit down and just take the world in. Do a little bit of people watching. Does anyone else find that really, really therapeutic? I think it's amazing, I love it so much. Anyway, I managed to find like a quiet spot. It wasn't a bench, I had to sit on the floor. How undignified. Uh, so I was sat on the floor, minding my own business, watching the world go by. Next thing, like in, in all the places in the Trafford Centre, a guy comes and sits down with his baby. The baby's screaming. That's not it. Then another guy comes and sits on the opposite side to me with two children that were screaming, mithering, shouting. And I was like, I'm trying to have a quiet minute. We just don't need these vibes on a Sunday. You know when you just go, <laughs> I left, but I am oh my god like i you can probably see how sweaty i am i am sweating but i've been into the traffic center and i've come out with soup i, I had every intention of actually nipping to m s at some point this afternoon to get some of uh, the world's best soup from m s so this one I've, i have shown it in a vlog before but it's like my favorite soup in the world broccoli and spinach soup so nice and then i got another one which is chunky chicken and grains soup but yeah so what did you get from the traffic center, honey? Oh, I just got some soup. I needed some conditioner. We've run out of conditioner at home. And there's someone coming. I'm embarrassed now. And next, so I really needed some uh, shampoo and conditioner. Oh, there's people. I feel like they're gonna start recording a TikTok, if I'm honest. Of all the places in the actual car park, why would I choose this one? So now I've got the contents of my Trafford Centre shop on my knee whilst I'm driving away. We're going to have to find a nice quiet spot to continue this little Trafford Centre haul, honeys. What an absolute... Wow. Wow. Yo, train drop the first. It's going down. Think of Black Street. The homies got at me. Come at creations. Fuck like that. You know what I'm saying? Standing in line to see the show tonight. And there's a light on. Heavy glow. Waiting for. Shorty fire burning on the dance floor. Whoa. Show you what I got from Superdrug. We got rudely interrupted earlier by that gang of youths. So I needed some new shampoo and conditioner. So like I will stand there and open every bottle and smell it. I am that girl. The fragrance is very very important. And you really really need to go into Superdrug and and just smell these, please. Uh, Herbal Essences Bio Renew Repair Vegan Shampoo. I'm not a vegan. I just like the smell of it and obviously the conditioner and it and it says zero parabens colorants and paraffin but honestly the smell oh my god it's absolutely unbelievable i got the uh, ripper and renew intensive mask and they were like i think they're like two pounds something like dead cheap oh my god oh my god guess who's doing a hair mask tonight but the fragrance, the flavour, whatever, is argan oil. So then I, w I went to get some, this is actually bath soak, but the same difference in it, like shower gel, bath soak, it's like the same, does the same thing, right? Like. This is Moroccan sunset and golden argan oil. And that was like 98p, something like that, so cheap. 
oh my god i am literally gonna smell like an absolute argon oil princess i can tell you that and lastly um tingling mint and tea tree original sauce baby boy has this so i had to get it I'm pathetic. I just thought my cold show was in the morning. And then like this one's for like at night time. I don't really have a bath. Like I never have a bath. I much prefer a shower. And that's because let me just tell you the reason why this is. So when we had our bathroom done uh, last year, it was for like three months we didn't have a bathroom. It wasn't three months. It was probably like a month. But it felt like three months so every day i had to have a bath and it scarred me for life and i never ever want to sit in my own dirt ever ever again thank you very much and goodbye so our bathroom is has now just got a like a shower cubicle my mum's ensuite bathroom has a sorry beautiful camera battery died there uh what was i saying so so yeah bath every single day for like three years I don't know it was like it, was, it wasn't it felt like a very very long time and I I'm scarred for life I can't remember if I've had a bath since I don't think I have I'm a shower gal all the way now anyway I for one cannot wait to wash my hair and wash my body it doesn't take much to excite me I'll be honest I can't carry on now <laughs> Are hey, you not coming saying hi to the Huns? Come here and smell this. Honestly, it smells amazing. Smell it. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Don't it smell amazing? I don't believe I fell for that. I don't believe I fell for that. It's, it's, a, it's fake tan, it's all over No, it's an intensive <laughs> mask. It's a hair mask, but it smells really nice. Oh, it's all over my face. Smell that one as well. <laughs> Get lost. <laughs> it's worth a try. You smell that. You can't kid a kid. Oh, I don't. Well, it's not for you. <laughs> oh, my little honey bunnies. Yesterday, I did say that I was going to show you um, the few things that I got from. I got a couple of bits from ASOS. I've got like a mini, mini ASOS haul. So, but yesterday, I didn't show you because I was getting ready to see baby boy and I ran out of time. Gal was in a rush. You know how it is. Anyway, so this is the first item. It's this little sports bra. So the brand, oh, I'm a little bit confused cottonon.com I don't know but it was on ASOS so yeah and um, I always feel like sports bras can be the, some sports bras can be very very expensive and if they're not expensive then they're not they don't do the, the right job do you know what I mean your gal doesn't get the support she needs and deserves in her life but what drew me to this particular sports bra was the back of it Hang on, what, what am I doing? Can I, oh, how? Yeah, it was the back of the sports bra that made me buy it. I just really, really like it. I think it's lovely. And then I got the same one, but in this, this pattern. I've got a lot of shorts, a lot of leggings, but like not met very many tops at the gym. So yeah, these are perfect. Wonderful stuff. Gorgeous burnt orange dress. Um, this is actually top shop. But obviously from ASOS. I think this is beautiful. I did put a belt with it and I can't decide whether it looks better with or without the belt. But I just think it's lovely. Like, what a cute holiday dress. Um, but I really, really like it. I love the colour. I've not got anything like this in my wardrobe. How summery. Stunning. Let's take the belt off and I'll show you without. I just feel like it's a little bit shapeless without.
my god, honey, I'm having an absolute, absolute trauma, absolute nightmare. So I'm just doing my little, little cute little sunset walk. It's Sunday, I've got no makeup on, my hair's freshly washed. Mm. Anyway, I'm literally being chased out of here by, mm, by insects. Literally, like this like one flying thing keeps landing on me. I think it's on my leg. <laughs> Listen, I just want to drink my hot chocolate in peace. Is that too much to ask? I'm having an absolute nightmare. <sighs> Honestly, it's not people you need to be scared of around here. It's these like flying ant things that grip onto your clothing for dear life. In fact, at one point I went to like do a boomerang. So I lifted the camera up to my face. The boomerang was not cute by the way. In case you were wondering. And the thing was on the side of my headphone. Just get me to the car. Get me to the car ASAP. Oh, how traumatic. I should have just stayed in. I should have just stayed in. This is a bad idea. We're being attacked. I feel like I'm on. I'm a celeb. Get me out of here, please. Stunning though. What a walk. You see? But I really need your help. One's just literally landed on my neck. <laughs> Seriously, why have I not got my new balance on? Because I need to be out of here. I need to skedaddle. I can't run with my hot chocolate in my hand. Oh. <sighs> Trauma. Right, I'm just going to keep talking to you because it takes my mind off things. Honestly, like all week I've thought to myself, like, because it's Sunday night now and all week I've kept thinking, like, I really want to come up and see the sunset. Uh, but I've just like not made time or like when it's got to because the sun sets at like half nine something like that 20 past nine so when it's like got to that time I've like I've already like had a shower and put put my comfy clothes on you'll be glad to know that I made it into the vehicle oh <laughs> safe if there are currently any bugs on me then I am going to freak out I've not checked I don't want to know but I just hope they don't come jumping out at me whilst I'm driving home because that will not be very, very safe, will it now? I love, I love coming for a walk. I really, really think it's so good, like, for, for your mindset. Literally just come and just sit with your own thoughts and just look at the sky and look at nature. And it's very, very inspiring. Um, I'm such a dog. Okay, my loves, so I'm just on my way home now. I feel very, very satisfied after that walk. It was more of just like a, a sit, like I walked a little bit, but I just like sat and like took in my surroundings, reflected on the weekend, another amazing weekend, another great week. So I'm gonna end the vlog here because when I get in, this girl is taking herself straight off to bed because everything's done i've meal prepped i've washed my hair i do keep getting like i'm like itching so i might have a shower in fact that's a good idea that i'm gonna have a shower and then get in bed because i swear to god i feel like i'm covered in bugs like oh my god oh i'm itching so bad i can't call like oh my god i just hope there's nothing on me because i for one simply cannot deal with that i'm going to say good night au revoir I hope you have the best week. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. As always, I really, really enjoyed filming it. If there is anything you want to see from me in the future, then please leave a comment down below and let me know. And I hope that you and your families are all keeping safe and well and happy. And until next time, I'll see you in my next one. Oh, sorry, just, just one sec. We'll do that again. Bye. I don't even know if I'll put this in because he might watch this and think block blocks deleted see you later one day you will meet him honeys we're gonna have to uh, lube him up for that <laughs>